Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, at a point in the past, I believe I did talk about the fact that whenever I see someone in pain, um, I have a tendency to get into pain myself. However, one thing I have not said yet is that there is one exception to that statement. This is not something I talk about very often, just because for the most part it frustrates me, but I did put myself in a mindset where I can't talk about this. One thing that's the exception to what I was claiming is when somebody has a tendency to put me through something worse than what they end up going through. And this has happened before. It's not often, it hasn't happened very often, but it does happen to me. Actually, to be honest, it's happened like three times. Maybe four, but definitely three for sure. Three specific individuals. Ironically, all of them are actually exes of mine, but their exes... Not all my exes ended up on a bad note. Some of them did not. Most of them... In other words, these three did. It's because of their own actions. Putting me through turmoil, which honestly was... At a point when I was thinking about this and watching one of D9's streams, that's kind of why I started making these kind of videos consistently in the first place. But anyway, I digress. When people have a tendency to put harm upon me when I'm trying to be a good individual, a good Samaritan, and do nothing to harm the person whatsoever, it makes me feel used. Whenever that happens, and it doesn't happen often, in fact, again, the three times I've listed are the three times it's happened. Uh, one of them I have talked about a lot on this channel, which I am not going to talk about again, but I guess when I, when I come across people who have a tendency to just want to use me for whatever reason they have, it doesn't lead to good things. And, well, ends in a result of them getting themselves hurt and me going, you know what, you had your chance, I tried to be nice, you didn't accept it, so you're going to have to take the consequence and go, kind of thing. Generally, though, at least for the three individuals, it did not end that way. It ended more like, you know what, you deserved it. Do not bother me again, kind of thing, like frustration. Now, as I said before, that doesn't happen very often. Under the circumstances that these things don't happen, well, let's just put it this way. Because I have written things in the past, or have come up with like different narratives, Nothing that's been released or anything, aside from what might be on this channel, but... Uh, because I've done that, I kind of get where some people come from, so it's not as frustrating. But when it gets to the point where I've given them chance after chance after chance after chance, and they still do these, these same s ridiculous actions, that's where it gets to the, the mental point where my brain just goes, you know what, you're on your own, I'm done. But that's, like, the nice way of saying it. Saying what actually happens. I'm not actually going to go into detail about what does happen under these fronts, but... I think you guys get the idea. This has happened to me to the point where I... And I talked about this before, I believe, where I just pretty much gave up on, like, all different types of relationships and put, pretty much put a wall up. After getting to a certain point with certain individuals and pulling that wall down, I started to realize that the best thing I could do to help me would be to help others under this particular circumstance as well. That's why I made a couple of videos prior to this one that were more to help others rather than anything else. And now I've got hiccups for some reason. Great. Not the best time to have them. Helping others has definitely helped me cope with this kind of thing, and the only and, and it's rare to find me go, I'm not willing to help. Those who suffer through stuff like what I've gone through, I'll always be willing to help. Just so long as I don't get screwed over in the process. 
and it's something that has been very damaging to me in my past for the past 10 years now and I hate seeing other people go through this kind of concept and it's not something I can just stand by and watch happen but for those who act uh, act like it's happening and then I find out later it's a lie that's where the frustration enters and that's what the rare occasion is but in any case I kind of just wanted to talk about this just to get it off my chest, just to get it out there of what kind of person I am on this front. But one way or the other, I am going to leave this video here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. This uh, about me video, I guess. I guess you could call it that. Um, if you did like this kind of content, uh, consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I, I Normally I do the push finger in like thing, but... My mind's not in the goofy state right now. Uh, if you want to check out any other DNR or Discussion Rant videos or any other videos about me, you can uh, click the links on the side of my head and they'll take you there. If you like gaming nostalgia or outdoorsy stuff or skits, consider subbing to the channel as well. Uh, or checking out the channel at least. In the meantime, though, I'm going to have. Thank you guys once again for watching this video, and I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.